Yo, what is going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best settings for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. As you guys can see on the bottom left hand corner, I'm getting over 700 FPS. So as you guys can tell, my settings are working perfectly fine. I'm running a 2070 Super. I don't even have a 30 series. If you guys are wondering what kind of settings I'm running, this video is going to explain my Fortnite settings. And in my opinion, the best settings for Chapter 2 Season 7. So without further ado, let's get right to it. When it comes to windowed mode, we always choose windowed full screen. The reason being because we are running the game in DX12. So if you're running in DX12, you want to run in windowed full screen. Because there's no such thing as full screen exclusive. You want to run it full screen if you're running a DX11 or performance mode. But if you're in DX12 beta, windowed full screen. Resolution 1920 by 1080. Frame rate limit unlimited. Now some people are going to argue that if you limit your frame rate to let's say 240, you're going to have less of an input lag. That's a misconception. The higher your frame rate, the lower your input lag. The problem is, if you leave it unlimited, at some point you're going to be getting 600 frames and at some point you're going to get 200 frames. So the input lag is going to be varying. So if, in order to get more consistency, a lot of pros choose more normal FPS rate like 240 or 360. So they always have a consistent input lag. So their flicks and their shots are consistent. So that's the difference between having unlimited FPS and limited. In my case, I'm not a Fortnite pro. I just want to get the most FPS possible so I can get the fastest edits possible. So I leave it unlimited because it, lower input lag means you can do your edits faster. Brightness, I leave it at default, interface, so all this is normal. So these are my graphics quality. So you guys can see I'm running far view distance, medium shadows, no anti-aliasing, high textures, low effects, and low post-processing. So what I notice is the higher the shadows are, the lower the FPS you're going to get. So if I turn into Epic and I save it, you'll notice my FPS way down, down to 400. So unfortunately, I don't like playing without shadows because without shadows, the game looks really bad. If we turn shadows off, then look, we're getting about the same amount as if we had shadows on the first setting, which is medium. In my case, this just worked out the best. So shadows for me are going to be on medium. So if you want a little bit more shadows, go high. But, but for me, I found the perfect balance is medium shadows, off anti-aliasing, high textures, low effects, low post-processing, and view distance far. V-Sync off, motion blur off, FPS on, rendering mode, DirectX 12. Now, the difference here, if you're running DirectX 11, DX11, you want to run in full screen exclusive. And if you're running in performance alpha mode, I believe that's a version of DX11. So you also want to be running in full screen. Multi-thread rendering on. Now, if you have a i5 or maybe a lower CPU, t try turning it off. Turning it off is not the worst thing. I've been messing around with it and sometimes actually having it off, you get more consistent edits. GPU crash debugging off, latency markers off, Nvidia reflex low latency, turn that off. Latency flash DLSS is also off. Now I used to have DLSS set on quality, but I noticed that off is actually better because DLSS is essentially a version of anti-aliasing that uses deep learning, right? So it's an AI based anti-aliasing. So we don't want any sort of anti-aliasing or any sort of, uh, you know, effects. So we turn that off and we just leave textures on high. Uh, ray tracing is obviously off. So those are, I feel like in my opinion, the best settings for Fortnite. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the NVIDIA control panel settings. And I'll show you guys my settings for NVIDIA. All right, here we go. Go to your program settings. Let's go ahead and add Fortnite. So these are my settings in NVIDIA. We have sharpening off, anisotropic filtering off, off, gamma correction off, anti aliasing mode application controlled. Transparency off, background application max frame rate off, QDA GPUs all, load latency mode off, max frame rate off, off, prefer maximum performance, prefer refresh rate, use global setting, application controlled, shader cache on, texture filtering, texture quality, high quality, thread optimization auto, because we have an option in Fortnite, so we set it to auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync, use the 3D application setting. This doesn't apply. So these are my personal favorite Fortnite settings that I've been using to, you know, record clips and play games and to get over 700 FPS as you guys can see right now. Now this is with me recording in 2K. So imagine how much higher my FPS is if I'm not recording. Thank you guys all for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Need for Beans out. Peace.